With homeless sleeping pods removed from downtown, the city of Tucson is considering a law to outlaw camping on city sidewalks. The proposal comes after the city ordered homeless people to remove a large collection of wooden sleeping pods. This after a federal judge said the city mistakenly thought his ruling allowed the pods. Now on your sides, Craig Smith is live at the downtown park that's been the center of the issue. Craig. Well, still, the pods have been cleared, but nothing prevents people, homeless or otherwise, from being in this park during the day. And that is when the sun is up, once dusk falls, you must clear this particular. Now, people have actually been camping over on the sidewalk once nights fall, night falls, and that's what the proposed new law would address. Homeless people say the area they called Safe Park was a safe place to spend the night and a place where anyone who wanted to help the homeless could easily find them. Now they say they are scattering to find hiding places for the night. City Council is considering a new law designed to prohibit any sort of camping on public land. Susan Morgan and her dog were not staying downtown. But she says if council passes the ordinance, she does not know where she will stay. She says even if shelters do have space, she'd rather be on her own. You're not treated with any kind of respect. The people you're living with are disrespectful and over the line. It's not, that's why I chose to live outside by myself. Now, because you have a, a, a pet, does that also make it tougher to be oh, in a yeah. shelter? Yeah, that'll make it impossible. I would have to... Uh, take her to a shelter, give her to someone. Tucson's ordinance is modeled on a city law in Denver, but residents there complain enforcement is weak and trash and sanitation trouble persists. Tucson's proposed ordinance says clearly it is not illegal to be homeless. But Councilman Steve Kazachik, whose ward covers downtown, says because the city has not named a place homeless can stay, the city proposal is premature because police may tell a homeless person to move and there's no place to move to then you either arrest them or let them sleep on the sidewalk. Those aren't the alternatives that I had in mind or that the council had in mind when we said let's move forward to the urban camping van. Now, the camping ordinance is up for a formal city council vote tomorrow evening. Reporting live, Craig Smith, KGON 9, on your side. Craig, thank you.